I'm back for day two on this world of, well, hardcore stuff. What can I do with cattails? Is there a brown dye, huh? Okay. I'm not sure I'd care for that. At least at the moment. Okay, let's, let's get all this stuff and keep moving. Until I know better, anyways. That's kind of a cool thing over there. Hmm, I do want that up there, though. Come with me. Come with me. Right, so, I thought maybe I'd talk just a little bit more about mods. Not that I know a whole lot about them. Uh, I am a software developer. There's, it is within my capacity to learn how to write Minecraft mods. Doesn't necessarily mean it's within my energy level or time limitations. Because, uh, I, you know, I, I don't have all that much energy and I have very little time. And the two things are related. I have very little energy because I have very little time and freedom of movement. Stuff like that. I mean, I don't want to compare myself to other people's life circumstances. That would be horrible. Because mine are relatively good. I'm just overworked or over I'm overextended I guess and tired as a result but that's still a far better thing than what many people suffer um, still I can only do so much and this is a funny looking place it's very green is this like a Garden of Eden kind of thing well let's let's proceed this way are these like a unique kind of tree I need to eat. But yeah, mods, mods. Um, what we're trying to accomplish on Deneb server whenever we do start the map over is solve a few problems that we've had because most of us on there are introvert, or introverted. Um, so we, we're very good at doing our own thing in our own time and not requiring each other's presence to have fun. Uh, extroverts are much more interreliant on each other, um, so you know our one in, in extrovert was quite bored with us, and that's not directly related. But one of the thing, one of the things that keeps me playing less, is the lack of uh, monsters because they're turned off most of the time, um, or they're turned off generally whenever somebody else is playing. You know, if I'm on the server alone, I I'll use a command and the mission the. Uh, Monsters will turn on, and that's all good. But it's very temporary. So one thing I want is the ability to leave them on all the time. Which means that the content... They, they need to be more restricted. Like, undead will exist somewhere in the world where it makes sense for there to be undead, like near ruins or in a, like a undead landscape, you know, like a wasteland or something. But if you have a pasture or, you know, this sort of thing, you wouldn't have undead spawning here at any time of day, much less, you know, whatever. So we need a mod that controls that. And I, I realize there's, there is like a spawn controller mod, which I'll definitely be looking into. Hello. Um, what the heck? But, uh, what are those little giant flowers? But I also want enough biomes and more creatures. I want more creatures, dangerous creatures, easy creatures, undead, various things, moonwalking chickens. I like this. Those are awfully tall mountains. But, uh, so we're looking for a combination of stuff. We want more rock types. Can you see here you have them? Uh, so you can have more building material colors. And this also includes wood, garden. What happens if I do this? Do I need, like, uh, yeah, it seems to work. So can I make stuff out of this? What is this stuff? Nothing. It's not coming out. So what is this? Giant flower stem. Okay. I'll take that with me until I know what to do with it. If anything. 
So what kind of what kind of zone is this? It's just like mountain, alpine. I like the flowers. That's cool. You're a pink chicken. Why is there a pink chicken? Oh wow! Is that a ravine in the side of the mountain? It is. Alps. That's pretty cool. A little dark in here for general consumption. Please don't anybody attack me yet. I want these resources. Should make a new pick soon. As soon as this one breaks. Yep, so I've been thinking. I, I have a list of mods that I kind of like for this project. And I hope that I can like put them all in on the server and it won't... Oh yeah, sorry. Day one was copying to my uh, my hard drive. Anyways, okay, okay, good enough, good enough. Running away. This right here could be fixed, but you know it's no big deal. I can, if I wanted to build here in the future, I could fix that myself. But I'm not sure if I want to be near all these weird flowers. Did I just see? I'm still seeing pink chickens, okay. Oh, I have to eat. Those are pretty good looking mountains though. If I find a village near here, I could probably settle in. But I want to build a narrative in this uh on this hardcore attempt. Which I think is gonna require having a purpose to life, which means like it's hard to describe. That's one of the things that this game doesn't have, uh, which, like, uh, Dwarf Fortress does. And if anybody ever wants to make a Dwarf Fortress mod or something that accomplishes all the same things, that would be most amazing. But what it provides is the, the, the traders who come by and the goblins that invade and the g giant, like, uh, forgotten beasts that show up at your doorstep... They all, they all offer, they all give the game some purpose, like, you're defending against this stuff. And that's missing from this. I mean, you can build stuff and you can fight undead, but they don't interact with you in a way that provides a reason to do what you're doing. Like, and, and that, that would be nice to have. Planes, really? I, I couldn't have guessed. So, all that said, that's nice and green. That's a, that's a lovely mountain skip. I do like it. That's a cave over there. Let me just sort of tool around, follow the edges, and see what else I encounter. <sighs> so, yeah, I want to build a narrative here, and that's going to have to involve protecting villagers. So, I'll find a village. And then try to... Oh, I like the Band of Dark... That's really awesome. That's one of the things that's provided by the Underground Biomes mod right there. Which is really good. Where's the sun? Okay, I'm heading towards the sun. Heading down. I think I'll follow this over here. <sighs> but I have a tentative list, which includes Biomes of Plenty... Or alternatively, extra biomes XL, but I'm I'm sort of liking this one better right now. Ooh, ooh that's deep. And there's ice. Okay. Oh, marsh. Really? Where's the marsh? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Biomes are plenty. Pam's Harvest Craft, I think, for the extra variety of food and plants and the ability to make cloth from non-animal sources like cotton and stuff like that. The, uh, our extrovert, Fabian, he's a, he's a vegan, so while he, 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 would like, he would appreciate that, being able to make cloth from things like linen instead of, or cotton instead of wool. So he doesn't have to harm or exploit sheep, even though they're digital sheep, but still... It's still an ethical thing. So, so I, it seems like Pam's Harvestcraft is necessary. 
underground biomes for the added kinds of stone, and I will spend a few episodes or a few days talking about mineralogy and rock hunting because it's something I can talk about, having a lot of experience with it myself. Um, let's see here. Mm, running low on tools, Migmatite, Gabbro. Protect myself with giant. stems. This is a nice setting. I do like the Alps. It's too bad there isn't a way to climb them. They just go on, don't they? Now, one thing I am not as happy with underground biomes uh, is the sudden vertical shifts in the biomes, like that. I mean, the, the, the layers make more sense, but that right there, not it's not as strong. It, I'd like to see an algorithmic change that prevents that. And also takes some of these layers and makes them a little... Sometimes they can go vertical. If, if it's a mountain that's been thrust up by uh, tectonic collisions and stuff, then you can get vertical uh, layers. Or, you know, they go in diagonal and, and bending back and forth and such. But, but there you have it. Let's see. Let me put this here. Nobody's getting in, and I get more food. Oh, I can make, a, make some torches now. Put down the bed. Day two is nearing an end. And that's perfectly okay. <laughs> I might, uh, well, yeah, I want to extract a bit more of this material for a later building. I, I'd like to have some uh, some stone ready and available just in case I, uh, I come across a village that needs some repair. I, in various recordings I have made that has come to pass, so I'm trying to leave my options open. Let's see. Doink, doink, doink. Very good me. Very good. Yep, so, the, so, oh yeah, 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 sorry, there were more mods. Let me review. <laughs> Biomes are plenty, Pam's Harvest Craft, harvest craft. Um, and I'm thinking Mo Creatures for added creatures. There are a few, apparently, uh, that come with this one, but I also, I want, I mean, the Mo Creatures is a very sophisticated looking thing, but it, I haven't been able to test it because it's not yet available for 162, which I'm now on. I realize... I'm not complaining because I understand as a developer that these things are not the easiest things in the world to do and something as sophisticated as that will probably take a while to upgrade. So people who are complaining, stop doing it. Just let them do their work. If you complain too much, you might just make them not care anymore and stop making it altogether. Which would be no fun for anybody, but probably a relief for the developers. You're ruining my room there. Ooh, I'm feeling a little tired all of a sudden. Okay, so underground, uh, underground biomes for the extra minerals and rock, and also what I'm hoping for, like I said, mo creatures, and also better dungeons. I want, but again, it's not yet available for 162, so I haven't been able to incorporate it into this series. It's too bad because I don't want. I'm not going to be able to restart the series just because it comes. Well, maybe I could. Maybe I can incorporate it. Not everything is. Uh, it would just mean no new dungeons would spawn in places I've already been. Hopefully, that means that's what it means. So hey, you know what? If it comes along, I will try it. And if it doesn't work, I'll just revert. So, anyways, those are the ones. Also, oh, there's the spawn controller mod, just so that. I can make sure that particularly difficult things only belong to certain areas, and therefore we have the best of all worlds for our players on the Deneb server. And that's the end of day two. So, apologies for my complete inability to be coherent, but I'll try again better or harder tomorrow. Thank you for watching.